It's time to upgrade the gold farm. I'm Sean the Shepherd, and this is Adventures in Minecrafting. Hello, and welcome back to Adventures in Minecrafting. It's episode 19! And you know what? That's not the only number that's changed. That's right, as of this episode, we are officially in Minecraft 1.16.2. We've got an upgrade, and so now it's time to look around and see what, well, what 1.16.2 has broken. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go down to our, not to our basement, I want to go down to our iron fo Okay, door, let me through. Okay, got it. I want to go down to our iron farm. From what I hear, iron farms have changed just a little bit in this version, and I'm a little worried that that's, that our iron farm is broken. So let's take a look here and see how it looks. I don't see any iron golems. Ah, yes, it is. In this version, they can now get up on a different part of the bed than they used to get up on. Now, that's the pillow. And I was pretty sure that they could get up on the pillow, but not this, but maybe I have that backwards. So I think what we have to do here is wait till these guys fall asleep and just stick a, stick a trap door right there. And while we are waiting for dark, there's something I want to show you. You remember everything we did in this building right here, the Mason's Lodge, and how we were working really, really hard on getting a certain mason. We could not find... What mason couldn't we find? We could not find a red glazed terracotta mason. And guess what? I've got good news for you. Because right over here is a red glazed terracotta mason. I, I, I couldn't stop. I, I, I couldn't stop. I had some more villagers that the breeder was kicking out. And so we just... Kept trying. It took me three, four more tries. I tried I don't know how many times in the last episode. But there it is. Red glazed terracotta. And what ended up happening is he also had pink terracotta. And the villager that was right here had pink terracotta. And also, I think, gray, maybe, or maybe that color. One of those colors. And because of that, I was able to lay off just... just lay off. That's, that's all I did. I laid him off. I, I, I encouraged him to visit the next town. I, I said, I, I'm sure mason jobs are available there. And now we have this guy, which means we have every single color of terracotta and every one of these guys gives us quartz and gives us bricks. Now, that's not all. That's not all the good news I have, but it is getting to night time. So let me go grab a couple uh, trap doors. And we will fix that iron farm. Um, there maybe? There maybe? And there. Now we just need trapdoor right there. And go to sleep. Come on, you can't see him. Go to sleep. There we go. Okay, I think that fixes it. Should be working just fine now. Yep. Okay, so we can take down our blocks. Oh, looks like we've got a visitor. <laughs> you know, we have a lot of those guys visiting us. In fact, I want to I want to show you something here. This is pretty funny. You all remember upstairs here where we we started building rooms. We haven't gotten back up here, but if we go in this room, you'll see we've got a friend. Everybody remembers like and subscribe. Well, guess what? You invite one guest and they invite their friends. Because if we go over here, <laughs> We've got some more company. Do we need a name tag this guy? Well, you you tell me. If we need to, if we need a name for the guest, you give me names in the comments and we'll make sure to come in here. But what I want to do is come over here to the library. Hey, don't move my library blocks around, okay, buddy? And I am so excited. Notice we got some green carpet in here. I played around with some different colors of carpeting and uh, mixing colors together didn't really work because the bookshelves are so, so busy. And so I, I just went with the darkest green we had. And I, I think it breaks up the, it breaks up this, uh, 
uh, light oak that's below it. It's a little less oaky in here, and I like it. But if you'll notice, check it out. We've got all the slots filled, and we now have every single enchantment at its best. I even went as far as to get Bane of Arthropods 5. I have no clue when I am ever going to use that, unless I build a spider farm at some point, uh, because our current mob farm is not getting us too much string. But we've got Bane of Arthropods 5. Where's the other one that we got? We got we moved up to Sharpness 5. And this guy, who's got Sharpness 5 and Power 5, see that right there? Check it out. He's got name tags for only 8 emeralds. That is the best name tag deal I have ever, ever seen in this game. And then there's Projectile Protection 4, which we didn't have. So we are all set. There's only a couple slots left. Uh, but we don't need them. And so I just put fake people in there and over in there. So there you go. We've got a library. I'm excited. So I think that's everything. I think everything else is still working. I have already checked. And the breeder, the breeder still working there. The, the wool farm is still working. This, oh, I haven't shown you this. The bamboo and sugarcane farm is working so well that I came down here and I had to add an additional chest because it's so that's it's actually it's this chest is full this is full that hopper's full that hopper's not full because it's pouring into here so we have tons of this I oh I want to move this I want to do one of two things I'm either going to move this to somewhere off hidden uh, maybe in the basement down there maybe in the woods over there um, somewhere we can send the drops up into the mansion to be sorted in our sorter or I was thinking of building a greenhouse over it I mean think about it the flower shops right there wouldn't it make sense to have a greenhouse right here we could even remove this little original garden up here and put a second greenhouse just above it so it looks like there's all this place for the flower shop to get its flowers from I think that's a good idea you think that's a good idea? I think that's a good idea. Also a good idea to eat when you're hungry. But we've got more plants and we've got more farms. And so I think the next step we need to do, take is a trip into the nether. What? 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 What are, what are you doing here? Who are you? Where did you spawn? How did... How did you get in here? I'm just gonna leave you. <laughs> He'll despawn when we get far, far enough away. So let's come over here and check on our hogland farm and see how that's doing. Make sure that that is still collecting up all the goodies. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No problems there. And we need to come over and check on our piglin farm. Now, I don't have any gold on me. Uh, we need to get some gold from up there. In fact, I think that's the next project we need to work on. Because we've got these three piglins right here. Oh, they're all, <laughs> they're all upset because I'm, uh, I'm, not, I'm not wearing gold. Nope, no gold. So these guys trade a little bit differently now. So I think it's time that we upgrade... The gold farm but in order to upgrade let's see do we have any gold no no gold uh in order to upgrade the gold farm we're going to need to do one more thing and i think that's going to require a trip back into the overworld i believe somewhere over here i have where is it oh protection three golden boots and let's see frost for men we'll put mending on first because that will cost less little trick here if it doesn't have a number, put it on first. It, and then put it on by the level of numbers. So put the ones, the twos, the threes, and the fours in that order, and it will cost you less. See, right now these golden boots are only costing me two enchantment. But if I put the Frostwalker 2 on, it's going to cost me four. So it just, just a little trick there. What should we call these? We're going to call these... Um, Uh, 
I know what we're going to call them. These are the icy hots because we are going to use these for a very specific purpose for upgrading our gold farm. When you're laying down magma blocks, if you have Frostwalker boots on, then you'll do just great. We do not have any magma blocks. So let me run into the nether, switch out my shoes here, run into the nether, collect up some magma cubes, and then we'll get to work on that gold farm. So I'm curious, if I'm holding a warped fungus, if I put it in my offhand, will that keep the hoglins away from me? Let's go test it out. Oh, I hear one. I hear one. Where is he? Are they going to come at me? They're going to come at me. Okay. That's not a thing. <laughs> good thing I got feather falling. Well, good thing to know. <laughs> we'll hold on to that warped fungus. Found some magma blocks. And look at this. Isn't this cool? No damage. That's because we're wearing those frost walker boots. I'm going to collect this all up. And actually, I've got some here. And there's some... Where is it? Some over there. Look at all of that. So we're going to collect all of this up. And I'll be right back. Hi, little guy. Are you scared? How'd you get down here? <laughs> Somehow I was just here mining out magma cubes, magma blocks. And this little guy popped down. Does he have a saddle? No, he doesn't have a saddle. So he's just... Oh... He's down here because I'm holding this fungus. Aw, cute little guy. There you go. Okay, let's take this out of our hand. Uh, what can I put in my hand? How about these? Okay, now he won't follow me down there again. Good job. I don't know about you, but when I play in the nether, it hurts my eyes. Even at full brightness, it is much too dark. And so I've down, well, I've downed, definitely I've fallen down, but I've also downloaded a mod called Brighter Nether, and oh, it's so much easier on the eyes. I, I encourage you to do that. Uh, so what do we have? I have 12 here on my menu bar. I'm going to fill that up to 64, and I will meet you up at the gold farm. All right, we are up here in our gold farm complete with our inventory full of magma blocks. I'm going to get this right. This is this is my new this is my new year's resolution. We're going to call them magma blocks because that's what they are. Magma cubes are the mob, magma blocks are the things that you place down. So, here we are. And the plan is to make this at least 100% bigger, if not 400% bigger. This is exciting. So, hang around and it's time for a time lapse. Roll the time lapse. That's close. That's very, very close. Well, we managed to make it all the way around. Almost, almost. Uh, we can get all the way around, but I did have to leave off a few here at the end. You'll see here we've got, uh, what is that? One, two, three, four. And I think it is four short over here. Yeah, I've got just a half a stack of magma blocks left. Uh, but I did want to bring it all the way around. We have the glass pathways. Uh, we also have the glass up here to prevent ghasts from spawning. Let me tell you, when I was uh, laying that and then breaking it down, I was so afraid that I was going to hit one of these guys and make him mad and get them all running after me. But let me tell you, I, I, I want to try this. I, I'm so excited to try this. I am so excited to see how this works. And so... Let's head back in here. We need to make one little jump. Whoop. Over there. Put that guy down. 
put that guy down. I haven't tried this. This could be very scary. Uh, in fact, I noticed on some of these, I'm a little afraid that the, the zombified piglins are going to jump down here and start attacking me from below. But we'll see how this goes. Are you ready? Uh, oh, you know what? Let's let's turn down our sounds because it's gonna get it's gonna get real loud, real real loud, real fast. And <laughs> one arrow is all it takes. This should oh look at them all, look at them all coming in. Now they've got to all make their way around back there. Here they come. Are they pushing each other off? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Okay. They're all coming in. And you know what this is going to do? This is going to multiply the amount of gold we get from this farm by four. 400%. Just, just a few more Magnum blocks over there. I think if I go get a couple more stacks. And let me tell you, they're easy to find. They're in the... Uh, they're in the nether. You find a pocket of them, and it goes on forever. So I'm going to sit here for a few minutes, and I'll be right back to show you what we've got. Well, it's been about 10 minutes, and this thing is going like crazy. It will not shut off. It won't stop. And so if we look down in here, it looks like we had some gold ingots that slipped through, but I know there's going to be more down below at our piglin bartering farm. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six stacks of nuggets. I don't know how much rotten flesh we've gotten, but I think what we're going to need to do to turn this off is just go straight down. And there we have 16 ingots, 10 minutes. That's not bad. And if we were to craft up all of those nuggets up there, convert them to ingots, we would have quite a few. Oh, looks like a few of these guys fell down. So let's go ahead and collect all their stuff. Get this XP and let's uh, let's run the machine. Let's put these 16 ingots through and see if we can see some of the new trades that the uh, that the piglins are bartering. Okay, let's watch them over here, pick up their trades. There's the gold, look at them looking at that. A little attention deficit piglin. And a few more items being thrown at us, and let's see what we get around here in the chest. Let's watch it come in. Okay, we're getting iron. What else are we getting? And there it is, spectral arrows. I've been looking forward to this. Let's take those out and try a few of those. Getting leather. And there is Blackstone. This was not available renewably before. Uh, you just had to go take down Bastion Remnants, but now you can get it along with Obsidian. Still fire charges from the Piglins. So, in addition to the two new trades of Spectral Arrows and Blackstone, the Piglins no longer barter for Magma Cream or for Glowstone. But hey, that's no problem. We can get Glowstone from Clerics, and we can get Magma cream anywhere in basalt deltas or even build a magma cream farm using one of the new spawners in the bastion remnants well that's going to do it for this episode if you enjoyed it be sure and leave a like hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time in episode 20 of adventures in minecrafting